Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right, let's get into it. Yes, today we've got uh, another video that uh, kind of sponsored by, oh yeah, you know who, yeah, Jerome. Yeah, he sent me that big, huge box, and we're going to take a look at the uh, one and only um, Suko, uh, Suko that he sent me. And it is this uh, Range Rover made in West Germany. And there's some na numbers here on the tail end. And, um, yeah, a bunch of, yeah, I, uh, 160 kilometers an hour? Really? I'm not sure if that what that means. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so he sent me this old beat up thing and that is awesome because um I've been trying to get a hold of one of these. Uh as you see, I've got uh, this is the uh current collection here at Roverland. Now these have opening doors. Oh, well, I guess this one does too. They all have opening doors. And uh, so like this is uh, the, you know, the creme de la creme. This is what the wheels are supposed to look like. You know, this is a tan one. And uh, you know, here's another one, a little bit rougher shape, been uh, detailed a little bit. But I have been trying uh, like this one here. Uh, of course, this is a different version. It's got the holes in the top and such and so forth. Um, and I've been trying to buy one that I could uh, do a little, um, yeah, autopsy on. <laughs> I like the blue windows on this one. Now, interestingly enough, this uh, police one has blue windows because I believe it pops through and makes the uh, the uh, bubble uh, gum machines there, the, the uh, lights. Uh, this one is a clear window or, well, kind of smoke, isn't it? It's not really so clear. Little smoke. Now this one has got a yellow window and as you see, we have a missing pillar there. Um, yeah, so we're going to try, and uh, I think the center caps, don't they, they come, the, the wheels come with center caps? But uh, that's okay, because this looks like a more of a realistic type Range Rover, uh, the, the classic two-door Range Rover, uh, without, uh, you know, having the, the Suco uh, labeling and stuff like, oh, geez, let's get into, into focus there, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so here we go. We're gonna take a look at the uh, innards of this little baby. Yeah, I'm gonna um, drill that pivot uh, or that bent post, uh, the mushroom post there, and uh, take one apart because I've never, I, I, off the top of my head, I've never seen anybody redo one of these. I really don't have um, <clears throat> the shop really set up to uh, redo this. It's uh, actually kind of cold in the shop today uh yeah we're uh experiencing um single digits low double digits so the shop is a little cold over here roverland so we're gonna just take this apart and see what we got all right so i went ahead and got me a drill set up and um we're just gonna see what we can do here all right sorry for the loud um drill noise I usually don't uh, usually don't like to uh, hear that myself when somebody is working but uh, you know what uh, talking about that I'm gonna drill this post out you can see I got a pretty good drill bit there for size and uh, I'm gonna drill that out so you don't have to listen to that it's a pretty straightforward all right so I'll be right back all right, due to the magic of video editing, or, well, I just hit the pause, but anyway. <laughs> All right, I think we've got it here. I thought I almost would have had to change to a different bit, but uh, we got her. So here it is. I hope, the, uh, you know, you guys uh, prepared yourself. Uh, if you're squeamish in the stomach and uh, stuff like that, maybe you better look away, all right? But uh, here we go. It's just gonna, I popped it off already. There we are. All right, where do we want to start? Well, let's start with the uh, body. 
I guess for right now we'll start with that. And so with the opening hoods, okay, they use uh, a spring uh, wire around the post to uh, help um, spring load those doors. So that's kind of uh, kind of nice. And now that we uh, have it uh, apart, we can see was that this originally um, a tan tan car and they painted it blue I th I think I think that's the deal I think it was a tan car uh, I don't know yeah that that was it a tan car but yet I don't un uh, don't know the story with the uh, yellow windshield you know we don't um, here in the states you know we don't get uh, Sukos, so you know it's a very limited knowledge on uh, on this stuff. So there it is, the yellow um, window part, but uh, really kind of cool. I'm not going to really take this all the way apart. We're just kind of opening it up and uh, taking a look at it. Look at it, the pivot system there on that, huh? That's uh, that that door is just sitting flat on that. Um, body panel and I guess kind of that's why it's you know there's no pins it just uh, flat held against there which when it's closed you want that to meet up um, you know flat you know but uh, yeah these these doors are kind of uh, you know they they move because there is no pin and that kind of explains that so yeah very very cool very cool yeah all right so then what we've got, oh, so the uh, grill piece came out, and uh, that must sit, oh yeah, it just uh, goes up into and on, oh, I gotta flip it around here, I think it goes this way, yeah. So the grill, the black grill is a separate piece all itself, and that just goes in over the little bug eyes, <laughs> those uh, classic Range Rover uh, round headlights. And with that vertical grill, I love that. I love that. This is one of my favorite models of uh, Range Rover. And now I've got the uh, steering wheel, if we can keep in focus. Um, I guess that uh, just kind of slips in on there on these two little pegs here. Boy, I guess my camera is really having a problem. My phone uh, keeping tabs of where I am here. But yeah, they kind of just fit in on there. And uh, that is held in by the uh, interior, I guess. There's a little, uh, oh, yeah, this here, or does that attach to that? No, nope, that would be uh, held in, held in by this little tab here from the interior. And uh, this one now has got a black interior. I guess they all pretty much have black interiors, but you can see just pretty plain Jane to Two of the just jump seats and then a, a rear seat there. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. See the back side of that. And now here's the uh, wheels. And very interesting, I did not know. I mean, I know they had a little bit suspension, but uh, they kind of went with that plastic um, suspension piece to give it, um, you know, the, the, the give and the suspension. So... Um, to to really take these axles and tires off, you would uh, really need to uh, take those uh, the one the one rivet uh, mushroom post, and then the other post is just uh, mark you know to keep it sturdy uh, in place. So they've got a pin and then a mushroom post, but uh, pretty durable. I I really have not in car and encountered of course you know I've only got five models of these but usually those are pretty robust and uh, suspension pieces I really don't see a lot of uh, of the um, Sutco uh, having damaged axles so really kind of cool there we go uh, Wow yeah I don't know if I could put this back together and and uh, see what we see what we got well so the that uh, windshield just slides on in there really kind of cool and then uh, yeah um, let's see 
this would go this way, wouldn't it? Yeah, and uh, make sure that that's kind of in there. So really kind of cool. So I really want to say a big thank you to Drone for sending me this. I know, uh, you know, it's not the creme de la creme, you know, mint in the package or anything like that. But man, this is why I take any and every Land Rover that I can, uh, I buy or see or friends send me because uh, now I finally was able to take one of these Sudokus apart. I got a, I got a little pin piece here. I don't know really where that goes, but, uh, but yeah, so let's see. Now this, we're gonna get the interior up there or the base, and then that's got a little hook hook on the front there. Sorry guys, I, I need a camera guy to get me to, but uh, so it got the uh, two latches there on the back of it, and then it just snaps and see how that, uh, that uh, little tab gets held in there. So yeah, just uh, drill and tap that and you would have a very nice sun. Uh, just build another pillar, we could do that. And uh, we will be back to uh, uh, hopefully 2022, we're going to be restoring things. Yes, that is the plan here on Roverland. <laughs> so, all right, well, there you go. Once again, a big thanks to Jerome from um, Chasing Diecast Cars. You got to go check him out. All right, so that's it for a Monday to look at the Sudoku. And um, yeah, all right, this is your friend Dano. Thank you for joining me. And remember... Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day!